Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to install GPG for Win on Windows 11. GPG for Win, also known as GNU Privacy Guard for Windows, is an open source program. The components of GPG for Win include GNU PG, which is an encryption tool, Cleopatra, a certificate manager for Open PGP and SMIME, GPG OL, an add-in for Microsoft Outlook providing email cryptography, and GPG EX, a plugin for Microsoft Explorer. After we install GPG for Win, I will demonstrate one of the features, which is checking the integrity of a file with digital signatures. Let us get into the installation. I am going to bring up the GPG for Win official website. Please note I have linked the website in the description below. I am going to press the download button. As mentioned before, GPG for Win is open source. On this page, they ask if you want to donate to support maintenance and development. If you do not want to donate, you can press the $0 option, then press download. Before we get into the installation, I am going to go to the check integrity page. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, I am going to note the SHA-256 checksum value for the GPG for Win executable. I am also going to download the GPG for Win executable signature file, which is required when we utilize the GPG verification function after our installation. I am going to minimize my web browser and bring up PowerShell. Within PowerShell, I am going to change directory into my downloads folder. Now I am going to get the SHA-256 hash for our GPG for Win executable installer. We have our value here. If we compare it to what's on the official GPG for Win website, we can see that this is a legit file. Let us get into the installation. I am going to bring up my downloads directory and I am going to open up my GPG for Win installer. I will press next. I will leave the default destination folder and I am going to install GPG for Win. GPG for Win is installed. I will not run Cleopatra, so I will uncheck the checkbox, and I am going to bring up a new PowerShell terminal up. I am going to change directory into the downloads folder. After you install GPG for Win, you will have command line interface tools. To check that these are working, I am going to run GPG dash dash version. We can see that we can access GPG through the command line interface and that we are running version 2.4.8 of GNU PG. Using GPG, I am going to verify the digital signature of the GPG installer executable file. First, I need to download the official public key from the GPG for Win website. Listing out the contents of the directory, we have the GPG for Win installer, which is the executable file, the signature file corresponding to the installer, and the .asc file, which is the public key. We will need all three of these to verify the digital signature of the installer. Next, we will import the public key into GPG. The keys are now in the system. There are some warnings here. The warning signatures not checked due to missing keys appears because the keys imported were signed by other people to prove their authenticity. We do not have the public keys for those other signatories, but this is normal. The next warning, no ultimately trusted keys found, is GPG saying that the keys are in the keyring, but you have not told GPG explicitly to mark them as trusted. GPG never assumes trust. What we will do next is check the keys fingerprints against values on the GPG for Win website. To do this, I will run GPG dash dash fingerprint. If we check the outputs against the GNU PG website, we can see that they match. The final command verifies the GPG for Win installer against the digital signature file. The output confirms a good signature from the developer Werner Koch, which proves the file is authentic and has not been tampered with. It also displays a standard warning similar to the one we saw earlier that the queue is not trusted. Again, this is normal and expected. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope that this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about the programs included in the GPG for Win Suite, I link the documentation sites for each of the tools. If you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, X, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. I also have a podcast called The Aspiring STEM Geek, which you can check out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Audible, and iHeartRadio. Thanks again for watching and happy coding.